I'd like to welcome and introduce you to Melissa Alexander. Melissa is with New Bern Grand Marina and Yacht Club, and they have also been a long-term sponsor of AGLCA. In fact, they were the host marina for one of our spring rendezvous a few years back. Um, so, Melissa, welcome. We appreciate you joining us. Whenever you are ready, feel free to go ahead and start your screen share. And I know you've got some beautiful pictures of the marina to show us, so uh, go ahead when you're ready. So um, thank you uh, to both you and to Joanne for pulling this off, a virtual conference and um, literally kind of coming to the needs of all of your AGLCA members and being a lieutenant level sponsor has been one of the best decisions that we've made. But we have also been advertisers in the waterway guide. And um, for those folks that don't know where we're located, we're located in New Bern, North Carolina and it is about 21 nautical miles off the ICW. So we need our partners like Waterway Guide and all of the other um, boating forums and things like that to help get people to, to New Bern. And usually once they get there, they end up staying because it's a beautiful place. But I'm going to sh uh, share my screen right now and then I can go over some of the highlights. And then um, at the end, I'll open it up for Q&A. So um, as I was just talking about the, the investment community and how they are um, enjoying the, the benefits of our rental management program. So for those voters that don't have a home port and they would like to um, consider that, what we are trying to do is make that very easy. Um, and so with the enhancements that we've made at the marina, um, we have remodeled the facilities and so um, we have new shower and laundry facilities, a mail room, and we tend to keep um, a number of people that cruise, we will keep their mail for them and we just hold it at the marina until they're able to come back. Um, but while they are cruising, we, we have such a long waiting list right now that we can almost guarantee that we'll be able to fill their slip. So the second they leave, we can put a renter in there, we rent, rent their slip and um, they are able to, um, you know, re return a little bit of that investment. So it's a passive income opportunity for them. Um, and those are things that we have um, been strategically been thinking about to make sure that we cover every angle to make sure that we are one of the most progressive marinas in the area. Um, we've also launched a new project. So after we rebuilt the uh, wave attenuator, which that was um, a one point eight million dollar project to be honest to, to rebuild that it was substantial we had to contract um somebody out of uh the where were they new jersey i believe um that they had to navigate all the way down to help us because all of the marine contractors in the area were extensively busy um and had been secured by other marinas so um we'll go to the next slide um as I'd mentioned, the marina is located in a historic port, port town that was formed in 1710. Um, and it is North Carolina's original capital city. New Bern is actually located at the crest where the Noose and Trent rivers meet. And so um, by way of that, you'll see a lot of these sunset pictures that we have here. Um, sunset and sunrises are absolutely magical and they're probably one of the most photographed things that you'll see. And I imagine you see that just about anywhere, but it really is unique to kind of see the water um, light up with fire and then cool down with these hues of blues and purple. It's just amazing to see it. Um, our friends at Waterway Guide and most of the boating partners that we choose to partner with um, help us get folks to uh, make the, the journey up the, up, uh, off the, the ICW and it's uh, 21 nautical miles to get there. But as, as we found, most people who end up doing that end up staying for quite some time because they do not just love the facilities, but they love everything that the community has to offer along with its people, a um, very friendly community. Um, at the time I did this, uh, we were actually in phase 2.5 of, of COVID, um, but we are now in phase three, which means more businesses are opening um, with restrictions. For example, fitness facilities have now been able to open and public gatherings are now open 
with a larger capacity. So I believe it's at 30% of, of the um, capacity of certain public functions can now be accommodated. Um, next slide. Um, as I mentioned, we are technically considered a hurricane hole. Um, people refer to us as a safe harbor location. Um, you are able to leave your vessel at the marina during named storms, but we do not allow you to stay um, on your boat. Um, that's just simply not safe. If it is, if it does become a named storm, there's just too much risk involved. Um, right now, we have a 95% occupancy um, with a waiting list that is about two months out. So if you are looking to, uh, to visit the marina, I would ask that you would please call ahead of time so Jeremy can figure out what we have available. Um, this is the time of year that a lot of southbound cruisers will actually leave to head south. So I imagine um, we will have some availability in um, the upcoming month. And right now there is a festival going on. It's an outdoor festival um, called Mum Fest. Well, this year they've called it Mum Feast and they have strategically very distanced placed food vendors um, throughout the community and people can hear music in select areas that are socially distanced respectively and um, they can dine on a variety of different foods. And so that is going on. So October has been a very busy, busy month for us. We also offer in-house brokered yacht and slip sales services. And um, that's just a benefit for us to be the one-stop shop for most folks and give them all the conveniences of being able to do what they need to do about going about life and their business. Um, and we are offering a 15% discount to AGLCA members with our ownership program. So if you are at all interested, uh, I have left my contact information in the chat session. Please um, feel free to reach me on my cell and I will connect you with either Thomas or Jeremy. Um, or you can send me an email, either way works. But we would encourage if there's any particular interest um, just to go ahead and do that. And um, that way we can get you in the reservation long. Next slide. Um, events. So we are definitely a boating community that um, provides a lot of fun things to do for the members of, of um, the Yacht Club and for uh, just our boating community. So if you were to visit New Bern at any time during the course of the year, we are offering, um, the community will offer historic home tours. Um, there's an oyster roast and events at the Triumph Palace. Right now, the ghost tours are pretty popular. They're small. Um, they take you around a lot of the historic stops and um, we have a lot of rich crematoria within New Bern. And so we have some of the oldest cemeteries that have really beautiful, and I know it sounds kind of almost creepy to some, but crematoria. And so they're huge statues, but they, they actually are quite beautiful. Um, as I mentioned, Mum Fest. Um, Very Merry Christmas is another thing that will begin um, Thanksgiving Day and literally we try to take the the whole community of New Bern and it it kind of comes to life in almost like a Tom, Thomas Kincaid like picture and um, we have live window displays, um, gingerbread contests that are also in the downtown merchant um, window displays. We have Santa, we have parades, they actually bring in a snow machine and we have sledding for the kids um, and families and we bring in a big sled or slide that um, allows people to actually um, sled in in North Carolina when historically it can be somewhat warmer <laughs> during the month of December. Um, in, in the, we have the 4th of July f fireworks, um, which it's beautiful because they do those literally um, right over the opposite side of the river, right in front of the marina. So all you have to do is sit on your boat and watch the fireworks. And it looks like they're, they're booming right over and exploding right over your, your, your head. And in reality, they're just, you feel like you can touch them, but they're, you know, they're across the river there. Um, 
We have a boat decorating contest during um, the month of December. We have a chili contest with our boaters, monthly socials. Um, in the summer, the chamber sponsors a summer concert series and they hold those at a park that is literally um, one block away from the marina and they bring in some pretty notable bands. So it's, it's quite um, a fun activity. Um, Throughout the course of the year, they have Friday night art walks. We have a number of art galleries and local artists, and they display their works throughout uh, the historic area. Um, we also have movies in the park, and I, I could just go on and on. Um, so um, next slide. So we have a team of four um, individuals. We, we um, Originally, when I came onto this project, we had two. We had a dock master and a dock hand, but um, we now have pretty much filled the entire marina, and that's about 234 slips. So it's a larger marina. Um, Jeremy McConnell is our dock master, and he's a retired master chief from the U.S. Coast Guard. Um, John Dodge is our assistant dock master. Archie Bricker is a dock hand, and he is um, pretty much um, kind of like our maintenance guru. He handles a lot of that. And then Mac Epps is also a dock hand, and he, he helps with just about everything. Um, Thomas Cleary is our in-house boat slip broker. John Peterson is our in-house yacht broker. And then, of course, I'm um, in helping with the marketing and customer relationship or customer relations. So for rentals, um, if you are interested, uh, the number to call is the main number for sales. I've listed Thomas's number, um, or you can call me direct and um, I will certainly make sure that Thomas gets back to you. And if you're interested in speaking with John Peterson, his number is also listed as the yacht broker there. But again, I, I did want to give um, Kim and Joanne a special special holler out um, for the fact that they have coordinated the first virtual conference that I have ever attended. And I've done so many of these in my um, professional career that I really appreciate the aspect of being able to do this virtually. I love meeting people and I like that, but boy, this is convenient. And I certainly hope that um, you all got as much as we did from this, this conference. And so with that, I will open it up for any questions and um, I'll go check those as well. Okay. Oh yeah, so I um, had a conversation with Bill <laughs> the other night. Um, the Outlander TV series was filmed here along with Sleepy Hollow. And um, one of the things that um, Newburn gets quite a bit of attraction for is the Tryon Palace. And so when Sleepy Hollow was actually filmed here, they actually closed down the streets and all of the, the, uh, the, the block, the one block radius in the front and in the north and the south as it expanded out, they laid mulch and they made it look period specific to the period that they were filming in that. Um, so we do have a number of um, movie, uh, movie, I guess, movie pre presences or um, spots in a number of the notable movies and TV programs that you'll see, including the Outlander series. Um, a question is how many transient slips do you have and are they usually available? So the Marina has, uh, 240 slips of which we've just now sold over a hundred. Um, so that leaves, you know, uh, that, that leaves us about, uh, well, the balance of that, um, that we are currently available to, to rent. Um, however, our waiting list right now prevents us from taking on any reservations unless you book in advance. So, um, on any given day, I will say, depending on when somebody is leaving, we will have between three and five 
slips, the, the, the slips vary in size. So it's best to get on the waiting list. And if you're on the waiting list for that particular size, Jeremy or the team members will call you immediately. Um, and it is based on size. So it's, it's a little bit of um, a weird question for me to, to answer in that, in that regard, um, because of the fact that um, we just don't know what we're going to have available and when people are leaving. So any other questions? There are a few more for you, Melissa. Um, we have one question that says, how many transient slips do you have and are they usually available? I think you kind of just covered that one, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that was that was um, the question that I was just kind of going over in terms okay, of- Okay, sorry about that. Um, the last one I see right now, so if anybody else does have questions, please go ahead and type them into the Q&A. Um, but the, the question here is, uh, apologize for asking if you've already covered, but I don't think you have. Um, what are the rates there at Newburn Grand Marina? So our rates are eight fifty per foot. Um, and um, we, we have to, so the pricing, the, the rates actually changed the beginning of the year and um, it is based on slip size. So say for, for example, you come in with a 37 foot um, vessel, they will put you in a, if it's available, they would put you in a 35 foot slip if they had that available because the camera um, permits allow a three foot overhang into the fairway um, outside of that. However, if there's not, they'll put you in a 40 foot slip and then you would pay 850 times 40, if that makes any sense. Um, but, um, there's a 1995 pedestal fee on top of that for a transient that covers Wi-Fi, cable, water, um, and um, your electrical in, in that, and um, also uh, trash removal. And um, so that's, that's still pretty affordable. We still feel like we are one of the um, more affordable marinas in the area for everything that 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 we can provide. Melissa, what was that a weekly rate, the 850? So that's the daily rate, yes. And um, our rates, um, if I could, um, if you email me um, or if you go out to our website, um, I can tell you exactly. I'd be happy to email you the rates because they do vary. We offer a weekly rate and a monthly rate, but it varies by size. Mm -hmm. um, so it is probably best if you visit our website at newburngrandmarinayachtclub.com um, to find that. But I can certainly tell you, I can go over those if that's something that you'd like me to do. Uh, we're running a little bit short on time. So if that is readily available on your website, we'll let uh, folks go to that to take a look at that. Um, uh, someone just typed in that the website shows a daily rate of two, a weekly rate of five and a monthly rate of eight. So, um, does that sound that, right? that is accurate. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, so daily rate of $2 a foot, weekly rate of $5 a foot and monthly rate of $8 a foot. Well, an AGLC, so let me explain that. So mm -hmm. AGLCA members and, um, boat, um, boat us members are entitled to a discount. Okay, great. So um, Melissa did put her contact information in the chat for all of you. So if you do have questions about that rate, you can visit the website or uh, email Melissa um, with that email address that's in the chat. Um, another question, uh, not sure if it's necessary, but do you have a courtesy car available for shopping and laundry, laundry trips? Um, so we do not, but we, um, we have utilized and contracted with the services of concierge, um, coastal concierge. And so coastal concierge can typically handle most of that. They run a lot of errands for a number of the boaters, um, whether it's, you know, taking you to a doctor's appointment, running to the grocery store, they can even drop you off at the grocery store and come back and pick you up, whatever it is. We have an organic, uh, organic food store that's right downtown. Um, and we have um, kind of like a galley store that's at the galley um, marina, which is a, a, a small marina that's just about, oh my goodness, it's uh, probably not even one half of an of one quarter of a nautical mile away from the marina. 
Um, but we pretty much have everything within walking distance for anybody to get there. But for those things, like say you needed to go to West Marine or something like that, um, we have services available that can take you even Uber. So if you can't arrange the concierge services to come and pick you up and take you, um, and it is, it is fee-based by the way, but they're, they're pretty reasonable, um, then there's always Uber. And, and believe it or not, we have old fashioned, old fashioned taxi service as well. <laughs> All right, I am not seeing any more questions at this point, so we'll hold it there. Melissa Alexander, thank you for joining us and thanks for your patience while we got the technical issues straightened out, but we appreciate all the information about your beautiful marina. Thank you, Kim.